Am I a five minute crafts apologist? Hey friends, welcome to my channel. As you might know, it is my dream to be an entertainer. So if you are at all entertained by this video, please like and consider subscribing for more content. So this video is going to be a little different and it's kind of testing out to see if I like this and if you guys like this. So I really love the idea of reaction videos and putting together compilations. I love watching compilations. I think it's really interesting to look at some of the trending or viral videos out there when it comes to crafts to see if they are real, uh, if they can actually be done, and just to kind of gawk in awe at some really cool stuff. So that is what this is. Half of this is going to be things that I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna learn, that looks so cool. Some of it is going to be, please don't do this, this is why it doesn't work, you know, here's why it doesn't work. And I am hoping to find some that I can try out myself and be like, I don't know if that will work or not. Let's go ahead and, and see. So this is the first of hopefully many, but or it'll just be all by its little lonesome. And um, so all of these videos I got are TikTok videos. Um, a few of them I found via Reddit, but I believe they are still TikTok videos. And one of them I think I got from Facebook. Okay, we are starting off strong. I am agreeing with Envy with this lady. She, I believe it's a she, I apologize. Zanadja, or just it Nad, Nad, Nadja? <laughs> I will put her information um, up on the screen, but uh, she does amazing Harry Potter um, potion making videos. They look so fun. I not only want to try to make some myself, but I want to just have them all over my house. So this one we're watching was just the latest one that I found of her. She is making basilisk venom. So let's watch that. I love, not only I love the color, um, I just love the whole aesthetic, like watching with her backdrop, like everything is so perfect and pristine. And I really want one of those melting wax thingies, a little tiny, like, oh my gosh, it looks so cool. I love that like it's it's a mini thing, but then also like that it makes just as much, uh, just enough of what you want, you know. I would love to learn how to do this. I wanted, actually, this was one of the things before I even started this channel, and I was like, I wanna do that. Um, I am just, I feel like I'm not quite there yet, but I would love to get there. If you wanna see me try this and see if we can do this together, um, let me know down in the comments below because uh, this is gorgeous, um, and I can see buying these for real, um, but I think it would be super fun to actually make for myself. All right, we are jumping straight into controversial with this next one. This one I found on Facebook. So of course, everyone commenting um, just didn't understand that you can customize Barbies in general. So this is from Beauty Studio it, under their playlist Beauty Hacks. And so they just do some uh, plastic surgery hacks for dolls. I think it's mostly tongue in cheek. I think it's kind of making fun of like customizing in a fun way. I don't think it is actually a, a, a statement of, you know, with the generations now like trying to change who they are. Um, this These dolls are not for children. Uh, They're definitely customized just for the sake of customizing it like a lot of these hacks and stuff are. So let's take a look. 
So first, when they say builder gel, I'm assuming they mean resin, which is really fun. Again, I'm just new to resin. I've not tried any of the UV resin stuff, um, but that is really cool. I never, I, I watch a lot of customizing Barbies and stuff. I bought some stuff. That's why I have some of the things over there because I really wanted to try it myself. Um, but I, I, I got cold feet because I just feel bad about like erasing a Barbie's face to put on a different face. And what if I really... I'm bad at it. <laughs> I speak my mind and I don't care. Express myself with a devil stare. I tell you, cause I'm no angel. Okay, these fish lips, this duck face. Um, I It has to be a joke. I don't think anyone would actually want that for their Barbie doll. I know that people actually get this done um, on them themselves, but um, I think this is just funny. I think it's just to kind of show what you can do. Uh, so it's just kind of replicating um, plastic surgery on your Barbie. And uh, I, I don't know. I think, it, I mean, it came out pretty well. Obviously, it's a little bit, you know, messy around the edges but think about how small they had to go with this so i think awful taste but good execution that's perfect I'm sorry, dremeling your tush is a look. <laughs> I'm like, mm, that's really weird. <laughs> So one thing I want to say, something else is, is going to come up in just a moment. So look at the color of that, the tush, right? The bottom. Um, and it kind of matches Barbie, right? So this next one coming up, um, I have questions. But also um, that crease, <laughs> it was uh, massive. <laughs> I don't think those were even to begin with. I, one looked larger. Okay, so I knew um, that they used a different product. They used the, the polymorph stuff, but... Um, the color, the 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 matching, like I could see how when they first mixed it, they thought it would look good, um, but it really does not match her skin tone. And since this was the one that was going to be seen, I'm like, why didn't they reverse the two? Because if the butt one, you, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a complete skin match. I think that would have looked better than than this. This was clearly, these look like they're just like stuck on. And I've seen customized Barbies that have um, additional cleavage added. Um, and those artists do a way better job. So I know it can be done. Again, not really, I, I don't want to like judge anyone's work in terms of ability um but i feel like even these people like they they're clearly talented they could have done better the this just looks ridiculous I 
like these eyebrows. I'm not a fan of the very wild look to begin with, like on real, you know, makeup artists. Obviously, I have issues with eyebrows uh, and doing them myself, so I'm one to talk. But um, in terms of like hack or, you know, customization, I think this was really well done. And I can see like a fun way of making your Barbie unique to you um, and to your little one or whatever. Like if you guys, you know, wanted to play around, I love, um, I've, I've done a little bit of customization myself. And uh, so I think, I think that's cool. I think that's legitimate um, before and after, you know, that I, I don't think anyone should have a problem with. <laughs> Okay, did this Barbie need additional makeup? No. But was it legitimately satisfying to watch? Yeah, like as a craft, like I liked sitting there, I'd, I'd watch more makeup things on, on Barbies. Like it's just that weird, like, I don't know. It's just kind of like um pseudo ASMR type of thing where it's not really like, obviously that's not what, you know, ASMR, but where you can just kind of sit and just like, zone out and watch a craft. So I did like that. I, again, I'm not a, a makeup artist. Um, it's, it's a look, uh, she looks good. Um, you know, putting extra makeup on Barbie. I mean, why not? They make those dolls, you know, those, those big ones that like kids play with and stuff. So there's no harm in this one either. Um, and I, I think it's, it's well done. I think it's, it's fun. You know, I, I wonder how long it will last though. Um, with like that, the lipstick, using the lipstick on there. I don't know with like the different, the, the plastic of her face. Like, will that rub off? I guess they dried it somehow. So yeah, I kind of think that is still more like satire, tongue in cheek type stuff rather than like the real statement piece. Um, and then also I think it was just for fun. People want clicks, you know, angry views are still views for people. So uh, there were a lot, again, it was also on Facebook. There are a lot of people up in arms on it, and I understand that it can be very controversial. It can be very damaging to uh, young children who are very influenced by what they see. So um, this is my disclaimer. This was just for entertainment purposes, and I don't mean anything by what I showed, but I, I don't know. I feel like it's you're not actually handing these dolls to your children, and if you are, stop. <laughs> All right. So happy ever crafter. These are people that I legitimately follow on TikTok. Um, and she is really great. She teaches calligraphy and I've been wanting to try it. Um, actually her faux photogra uh, photography, her faux calligraphy is actually super cool. So, uh, let's watch this video and, and see what she says. I teach calligraphy for a living and I want to show you the exact step-by-step -step process I use with my students. First, you have to learn these basic strokes. These are the backbone to learning calligraphy. And I know they look like just weird squiggles, but the minute you learn these, you can build your entire alphabet, which I'll show you next. Once you know how to do those basic strokes, you can actually turn them into all the letters of the alphabet. I had a video go viral about this, so if you want to know more, you can go find that on my profile. But basically, right here, I'm showing you how those strokes from the top line turn into the letters for the word magic. Then, of course, once you know how to make the letters, you can turn them into a word. There's actually a bit more to this. I'm making it look pretty simple for the video, but this is kind of the most basic calligraphy style you could learn. And I recommend learning this style first before you move on to a bouncy style, which is what I'm doing now. This is the step where you get to sort of put your own style on it. And this is kind of the more modern calligraphy style that people are looking to learn. But there are still some rules to learn with it. And then once you've learned all of that, you're gonna learn how to add some fancy flourishes. This is where you're gonna look like a real pro. It looks really challenging, but remember, you've already learned all of the steps above. 
So basically you take the basic strokes, you turn them into the letters of the alphabet, then you take the alphabet and put it into words. You take that super basic style and start adding your own flair and bouncing and stylizing, and then you can add some flourishes. I actually have a whole series of courses with workbooks that teach all of these steps. So if you're interested in doing that, this is exactly how I teach it in all of my courses. Breaking it down into steps like this makes it so much more manageable than just trying to see someone else's calligraphy style and copy it. I've taught over 150,000 students this way using these workbooks and I would love for you to join us. You can find everything you need at the link in my bio if this is something you want to try. So I just wanted to play hers fully because I think that's amazing and so props to her if I get two people watch this and one of you guys wants to learn calligraphy then there you go she's a great teacher I love watching her stuff and that was one of the ones I was going to practice here but I feel like you know it, it might not be fun to watch me at the very basic like let me get some some done and then I'll try um I just I like her movement like it's the strokes, I understand the strokes before you even get to making the letters. Like, how do you do that without shaking your hand? Like, I just, it, mind is blown and I wanted to share that. That is fantastic. I love it. Um, again, just one of those where it's just, it's fun to just relax your brain and just watch. Lizzie's nail art has some weird ones and then she's got some great ones. And I just love watching people do nails. I have tried and I will do a nail or fail and I will fail that nail or fail because um, I will, I've tried dip powder, I've tried the UV, UV gel and like I will dry them out. They're like, hey, use this thing to, you know, dry out your nails and it'll last or whatever. I'll put that on there and then like an hour later, my nails will fall off. The, the fake nails, not my real nails. Um, I just cannot, I don't understand what I'm doing. I've tried to watch and um, like look up things and they're like, oh, well, it's because your nails are too, you know, too wet, you know, too still, there's still too much moisture. And I'm like, okay, but I used this thing to dry it out. Like I made my nails so brittle trying to put these things on and they still won't stay on. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I'm like, I need to make a video about it so that people can tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong specifically. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just, ooh, nail art, guys. I could just make a compilation of cool nail art I found. Okay, now we're getting into the five minute crafts. So they are super easy to pick on. They make videos that just get views. They don't care if it's ridiculous. Um, and people will comment and share and everything. And I know, I think they've actually cracked down on people who have made um, like response reaction videos to five minute crafts. So um, I don't know how much I can really latch on to what they do. There are plenty of other people who do similar things. Um, but anyway, so this is just one of those ridiculous ones I wanted to throw in. Let's watch. I think 5 Minute Crafts gets a lot of comments on this type of thing where they'll show what they're doing, but they're not actually honest. They don't actually do it. It's They're lying in the thing. And that's why those are the ones I wanted to copy. If I could find one that looks good and be like, hey, does this actually work? I want to copy those. I don't want to copy the ones that I know is crap. So with this one, they put two together and then cut out the foot. So upon rewatching during my editing process, I realized that I think it actually is just one piece, but um, I don't know, my argument still stands. Which, okay, fine. Uh, I really hate when I saw them cut through the circles, but whatever, you have to. But then suddenly it's one piece? Nuh-uh, what did you do? They didn't show where they hot glued them together. And when you look at it, it looks seamless before they put those little poppy things on, like the, um, the strap, before they put the strap on. <laughs> um, it's one piece. Like, 
that's not what they did. That's not how they cut it out. So um, that's what I mostly have a problem with. I know a lot of people are like, why would you do that? It's it's a craft just for a craft. If you have fun and you just want to make something, you, whatever, like that's fine. I have no problem with that part per se, as long as it's not dangerous for people. But when like you show this is how I made it and then you blatantly lie in it, that's the part that I have a problem with personally. All right, this next one is a five minutes craft, which I actually want to do. Um, there is this, these, the pour painting um, just looks absolutely so fun to do. Uh, messy, but fun, and I really, really want to do it. I know it was going around as a, as a trend several years ago, and I watched so many videos being like, I could do that. Like, you don't have to be a good painter to swirl, you know, whatever. It's, it's subjective as long as you put cool colors together. So let's go ahead and watch this one and um and be a little bit more neutral to 5 minute crafts So I never thought about using like a blow dryer or like, yeah, like a hair blow dryer to move it instead of swirling it. Um but that seems to make sense. I believe that that would work. What they ended up hanging was not what they were making in that video. You could tell that like it just wasn't making that same design. So again, did they lie? But I think you could make what they hung up. So I will give that one a pass. Um, I've seen others do that. So I know that it can be done. I want to do that on this channel one day. Um, so I really loved it. Now there's some more to this video. So gluing a bunch of salad bowls together and top it off with a plate, spray paint it all white, and then it, it's a dupe of something super pretty. I could see doing this in the case of theater or like a background even in here, like not actually going to use it, just want it to look pretty. Um, yeah, it's cheap. You probably got them at, you know, the dollar store, glued it all together. It will only hold that succulent and that clock though. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't use it in a normal setting. I wouldn't be like, this is my foyer and here you put your keys here. I think that's a little bit weird. Um, especially cause when you look at it, you're going to see the seams of the glue. Um, I could see this being fun like that. I give it, give it, you know, the benefit of the doubt. Am I a five minute crafts apologist? No, but I will say that there are, there are places, times and places for these things. See, that's what I wanted to do. I also wanted to do a thing where I'm um, devil's advocate, where I watch things that normal people would like cringe at and I'll be like, no, this is where their perspective was coming from. So with this, I could see using this in certain backdrops where you need to pretend to have cool furniture, but you don't have the budget for that cool furniture. Um, yeah. I, I can see it. it has a time and a place. With the amount that they had to spend on getting the screws and the correct, you know, because they actually had things that like screwed in and everything to themselves, like the wood pieces and stuff, I bet you could probably buy something comparable, you know, Big Lots, Walmart, Amazon, like, I don't know, maybe, okay, my, maybe Ikea is, is too much, too expensive, but there are places where you could get that for cheap. The only place I can see that that would be adorable is in a craft room. So like upstairs, I have an atelier. I have no need for something like that, but like that, if you are an artist where you actually paint, so you do like they had, you know, hey, put your drink there and then put like extra colors 
don't mix up your drink with your water mixing. Um, but um, yeah, so it's like, hey, everything in this room I made by hand. That is the only place for that, right? Like it has a handle and I know, I know it's, it's some, I don't know. I, again, I, I tried to make a perspective. So yes, in a place where you're like, this is my craft room. Everything in here is literally a craft yeah, that's that's bragging rights. Go ahead with you uh, with yourself, but no. So this is nifty. I also really like their stuff. I can't remember now what other things I like, but I know I like their stuff. Um, so yeah, I just like hacks. Show me the life hack that you randomly saw one day that is now an unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. I don't know why I never thought of that, but Nifty, thank you for showing me that. That makes so much sense. I'm always like, I've tried, there's other pen techniques where you like you draw on it or like chalk or whatever and like you push it and then it goes up there. Tape, just use masking tape like or painter's tape, which was that, I guess. My painter's tape's always blue, but um, yeah. No, that's a legit life hack um, that is actually... I will be using in the future. So I just wanted to share with you, Nifty's super cool. And um, that's an easy, that's an easy one. <laughs> All right, this other one will be the last one for this video. This is also by Nifty. Let me know what you think. Doctor in me loves this, right? But I have to think, what's the difference between this and some of the things that five minute crafts do, right? Everyone hates on their crafts but I love Nifty. So I think like that, I think that there are some genuine uses for things. I also think, first of all, she walks through, she shows you exactly what she did. She explained, it took some time to cut off that top part. Um, and the end result is beautiful and I love it. Um, and with those like, you know, to, to dupe it, that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to dupe a vase and she did. And the vase just, sits there. So from far away, people usually don't come super close up to watch, look at your furniture and stuff. Although now I guess everyone will be like, hey, is this is this real or did you just make this? I think it's a win, but kind of perspective, you know, some of the stuff that 5 Minute Crafts does is legitimate, but now they just, they've ruined their name. So every time you hear about it, you're like, oh, that's going to be crap, you know. Um, but I really love this. I really love the ingenuity. Well, part of the reason why I love cosplay and back when I, well, I'm poor now too, but back when I was a poor college student and I was doing like budget level cosplay, which kind of is the the point of this, this channel, um, once I get my groove back, I love walking into a store, uh, could be, you know, five below, dollar store, Walmart, even Home Depot or Target and seeing things and your imagination runs wild. I love the fact that Nifty saw this water or this spray bottle and said, this would work for a vase. Love it. That mentality, that creativity and imagination is what I live for. That is the heart of this channel. And if I could just go back to that, that's my dream. Um, because it's just so fantastic. It's so fantastic what you can do. And it makes shopping such an, a different experience where you're walking around and you're like, oh, I need a shirt. And then you're like, oh, wait a minute, those suspenders, if I put this and this and I did this, that could be this. You know, like suddenly you're making costumes in your head. Or like that, you're like, hey, you know, home decor things. I was never super into home decor. As you can tell, I, I decorate horribly. But um, anyway, yes, yeah, so I just love that. And I think that was a really great one to end on. But I know that could be controversial in a different way. Barbie was controversial in a more straightforward way. But with this, what do you guys think about dupes? What do you think about making a plastic... A spray bottle into a pretend, you know, rustic marbling uh, vase, you know, like, do you think that's a win? Or do you think uh, that that should stay in our imaginations? Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you like these. Um, I have to get into, you know, how to actually do a good reaction 
So uh, I know, but if you think that this has promise, if you really like the compilations I put together, let me know. I would love to do this again. And uh, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and whatever you are struggling with today will pass. Until next time, stay crazy. (laughs) 